the reason that it's so hard for women to stick to a morning routine is not because that women lack discipline and men have more discipline or are able to stick to a structure more easily than women can. It's because women are cyclical beings. In fact, all humans are cyclical beings, but especially women. Women follow a 28 day cycle, as we all know, because that is as long as it takes for us to have our period. And in this 28 day cycle, you go through different hormonal changes. There's going to be times that you have a lot of dopamine just naturally rushing through you. You're feeling amazing. You want to go interact with people. You want to make plans. You want to create art and have ideas and everything is just flowing through you. And it's just amazing. And then there's another time of the month where you're actually lacking dopamine and you might notice yourself feeling a lot more irritable and a lot more frustrated. And it's harder to do the things that were easy to do during other times of the month. This is natural for women and the more that you heal your hormones, the more that you restore your mind, body, and soul to your divine template, the more you will experience these fluctuations between and within your own cycle. So when you are feeling absolutely amazing during that time of month, maybe that's a good time that you are making that morning routine, that you are feeling good about waking up at 5 a.m. and going to yoga and Pilates and doing your reading and breath work and somatic shaking and all of these things before you start work. And maybe there's another time of the month that you want to roll out of bed like right before you have to clock in from your work from home computer and both of those instances are perfectly okay and perfectly in alignment for a natural and healed and healthy woman. A healthy woman is not designed to have the same exact morning routine every single day. And so often I work with women so I notice that we beat ourselves up, we call ourselves names, we are so mean to ourselves because we don't understand how we're able to stick to something so well during one part of the month and during another part of the month we completely fall off track and it makes us lose our self-esteem and feel really really bad about ourselves. But that's because we have been conditioned to hold ourselves up to this masculine standard. Our society is structured based on masculine energy. In fact, it's structured based on the male testosterone profile. The reason that we have dinner time at around 5 to 7 p.m. every single day is because that's when your testosterone will signal to you that it is time to eat. The reason that we have lunch time at 12 o'clock every single day is because, again, that is when testosterone signals to you that it is time to eat. But women don't have naturally occurring testosterone. Of course, there's different things that you can do to change that, but we have naturally occurring estrogen. We have a completely different hormone profile and we don't follow the 24 hour testosterone cycle that men naturally follow just by being in their body. So women have a completely different body. We are different people and we get to learn how to flourish in this society and in this environment even though we, it's not necessarily set up for our best success. So that means that there might be some days that you love having breakfast and want to have a huge breakfast and other days that you are just not hungry at that time. And that doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. So it's really important to also remember that women are especially, especially meaning making machines. All humans are, but women love to make meaning out of things. We love to sit around and talk with our friends and try to understand why something is happening the way that it's happening. So it's really important to be able to have control of this superpower and shut it off when it needs to be shut off. Because the reason that you have a huge breakfast on one day and don't have a huge breakfast on another day is not a big deal. It is a natural part of your cycle. It is your body following your natural intuition and it's something to be celebrated for. You following your intuition does not mean that you are falling off track from your structure or from your commitments. Your consistency is meant to look different than a man's consistency. So instead of doing something every single day in order to stay consistent with your goals, you can do something once a month or once a week or three or four 
times a week in order to stay consistent. And all you have to do in order to make sure that you are staying in your truest alignment is use a habit tracker, use something to Use a habit tracker or find some way to separate yourself from your data because you are not your data. You are not the times that you wake up in the morning. You are not the foods that you eat. You are not whether or not you're able to stick to this schedule or stick to this commitment. And maybe the reason that you're not able to stick to that incredible morning routine that you want to be able to stick to is because it's really not in your alignment and that's okay. Maybe your intuition is telling you that there is something much grander and much more beautiful on the horizon for you and you are meant to be sleeping in in order to achieve that thing. There's different seasons of life, there's different times that you might enjoy having a really strict morning routine, other times that you enjoy having a lot more fluidity and a lot more flow and both of those are so valuable. Both parts of our journey are worth respecting, worth enjoying, worth honoring. If you are someone who's struggling to even get up in the mornings and have that divine morning routine, enjoy staying in bed. Enjoy doing whatever it is that you are doing. Even as a professional healer, there's some times that I stay in bed for hours just scrolling through social media or watching reality TV and giving myself the day off. And it is okay. There is nothing wrong with you for honoring yourself in different ways on different days. With all of that being said, I hope that this video supported you in your self-love and spiritual growth journey. You deserve all of the love and I will see you next time. Bye!